Get smart. Here's a couple of parts to it. Number one, your own personal experience. Right? If you've had a bad week, just sit down and ponder that for a while. Study it. See if you can't pick up some ideas from a poor week and then make a better week. Okay? Learn from your own experiences. One way to learn to do it right is do it wrong. Do it wrong. I mean, you know, that's one way to learn to do it right. Do it wrong. Now, the key is don't let it take too long. <laughs> if you've done it wrong for a year, we suggest that's long enough. You don't need another year just to prove a point. No, one year is enough. Learn from your own experience, right? So the call didn't go well, all the stuff. Guess what they did when they finished that call? They made another call. What else could we do to make it better? How could we possibly improve? This is called the possibility for life change starts with education. Don't be lazy in learning. Don't be lazy in picking up the ideas. Don't be lazy in learning from your own experience. That's why you've heard from some people that have shared their testimonial here and given you some of their ideas, ways, and means of taking this product to the marketplace, making it work for you. We've devoted most of our time for that, and well, we should. Learning is the beginning of wealth. Learning is the beginning of life change. Some people want to start with motivation, but you don't start with motivation. You can tell we don't, you know, we don't spend that much time on motivation. Right? Some companies, right, by now they'd be standing on the chairs, waving the flag, singing the old gray mare or some silly thing. <laughs> That's not Herbalife. We've got a serious task to do. And we're here, enough motivation, certainly. But here's the best motivation we've got going, the proof of our success. When we bring our success stories to this platform, that's enough motivation. When we bring our dedication and let it show, we let the work of our hands show, that's the motivation we want, right? Not just excitement, just excitement alone won't do it. Somebody says, just motivate this guy, he'll be all right. The answer is no, probably not. If a guy's an idiot, you motivate him, now you got a motivated idiot. <laughs> no. So education, get smart, don't miss the training class. You say, well, I've already been to one of those classes. I've already heard it. I've got a good phrase for you to take home. That's no sign you got it. Just because you've listened to those millionaire tapes one time is no sign you've got it. I'm asking you to listen to them over and over and over. I'm asking you to dedicate yourself to a new level of learning in 1992. When I travel with Mark Hughes, he's got his book open. He's got a book open. He's reading. He's studying. Lives of successful people. Lives of despicable people. You know, study, learn, grow, change, develop. Never let it be said you didn't learn, right? If you want to solve your problems, you got to learn. If you want to take advantage of an opportunity, you got to learn. We can't come here and just give you the marketing plan, give you the product, send you home. We got to stay for a while. Learn, stay for a while, right? Put on those cassettes and stay for a while, right? We asked you to come here for a couple of days and stay for a while. Do some learning. Take it back home. So, number two, to have your best year ever, a good piece of that 400 million, make your dreams come true. Number one, get serious. Number two, get smart. Develop your own personal philosophy here. Philosophy, major determining factor in how your life works out. Each person's philosophy is like the set of the sail. The same wind blows on us all. The difference in where we arrive at the end of the week, at the end of the month, at the end of the year is not the wind that blows. And the wind is blowing around the world. The world is in solution. Things are a changing. The walls have come down. All kinds of things are happening. In Russia tonight, today, the winds are blowing. But what's going to make the major difference? Each person's personal philosophy that sets a better sail, sets a better sail. So don't ask for a more favorable wind. That's like wishing something that's not going to occur. Don't ask for better seed and soil. All you got's what's available. Don't curse what you got. On this planet, all we got's the seed that's here, the soil that's here, the miracle of life that's here, the opportunity that's here, the seasons that are here. That's all we got. Wherever you've come from in your country, the economy you got, that's all you got. 
in America, our economy, that's all we got. The government, that's all we got. The marketplace, that's all we got. Whatever you do, don't criticize all you got. The key is to set a better sail and turn what you've got into the miracle of your, of your future. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. And that's the reason for coming here, spending a couple of days of intense effort, taking notes, rolling up your sleeves, going to work, commit yourself to learning so that you can get smarter for the days ahead. Develop your philosophy. Herbalife's philosophy has carried it now, these 12 years, to extraordinary heights. Those who do the work get the pay. A philosophy that commits itself to having the finest no matter what it costs. That kind of philosophy. I'm asking you to develop your own personal philosophy. Get your business philosophy going. Get your financial plan going. Don't violate the conclusions of your own philosophy by not executing and taking action. But that's number two, get smart. Here's number three, get going. As smart as you might become after these two days, as many ideas as you take away from here, they're truly, as Larry mentioned, like seeds to be planted in the soil. You gotta get going, you gotta take action. The disciplines is the miracle process. And here's how to get the miracle of your future going as far as disciplines are concerned. Number one, do what you can. You might go home and set a whole new pace for yourself and we call it cleaning up neglect. Should walk around the block, could walk around the block for your good health, don't walk around the block. See, you're on the wrong track. Should read, could read, don't read on the wrong track. Should call, could call, don't call on the wrong track. Could change, should change, don't change. You're on the wrong track. Letters you haven't written, conversations you haven't had with your family, somebody you should sit down with when you get back home, get that job done. Don't let neglect destroy your days, destroy your life, and destroy your future. Go back and do what you can. And if you'll do what you can, then life will give you some extraordinary things to do. We all pity the man, right? Wants to stride out of his house, go straighten out the corporation, has not yet straightened out his garage. You gotta take care of the small disciplines before life will give you a chance to handle the more complicated disciplines. How do you think Mark Hughes got here? Scattered now throughout 14, 15 countries, another 14, 15 coming up. I mean, how do you do this? You start first with the smallest of disciplines and do not neglect them and do not disregard them as being trifling. Everything matters, everything's important. Good phrase to take home. All disciplines affect each other. In fact, here's a good philosophical phrase. If you hadn't thought of it before, here it is. Everything affects everything else. It's so easy to be casual and say, well, this doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. I'm telling you, everything matters. Of course, some things matter more than others, but there isn't anything that doesn't matter. Then here's the positive side. Every new discipline affects all your other disciplines. If you'll get some new things going, make some calls you've never made before, step up your activity level, step up your labor level. Develop the skills from these two days of training here. And you'll go home and work some miracles on your days and your life and your future and your income, your business. And a bigger portion of that 400 million will certainly be yours. Go for the disciplines, the smallest of disciplines, the least of disciplines. Like keeping your accounts in order, the smallest of disciplines. Did you ever hear this expression? I don't know where it all goes. Did you ever hear that? I don't know where it all goes. Wow. Oh, we'd love to have you run Herbalife. You don't know where it all goes. How long do you think we'd last here in Herbalife if that was your philosophy sitting at the top like Mark Hughes? Let me give you the story on Mark Hughes. Mark knows where everything goes. And he started back when he only had pennies. He started back when he only had dollars. He started back when he didn't have much. But here's the key. One of the greatest extraordinary phrases that's ever been written from antiquity says, if you'll be faithful, if you'll be disciplined when the amounts are small, we'll make you a ruler 
give you a position of authority when the amounts are many. Somebody says, I've only got two or three distributors. I don't know where they are. Come on. If you've only got two or three, you can know when they get up. You can know when they go to bed. You can know all the details. Take care of your disciplines when the amounts are small. And then life will see to it that you get some extraordinary numbers to work with, like you saw the stories displayed here. Do not disregard the smallest of disciplines. Let us not neglect. Do not neglect the smallest of disciplines and build on that foundation and you can have everything you could possibly want. Okay? Get going.